So as I promised, I told you guys I was going to come back with a uh, few videos, a slew of videos. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I'm just going to call it, call the person right out. Sean Newton, uh, Precise Percenter, um, uh, Thunderdome Boxing, uh, that's the Three-Headed Dragons. Uh, those are the, uh, the leaders of these uh, obvious races and agenda driven fan base that we have here on YouTube who like to attack the LDBC. Uh, Sean Newton in particular is one who basically watches our videos uh, and always has to has something to say. I've seen him in multiple comment sections, even bragging about the fact that he does stalk our videos. Um, and he's proud of it. He calls himself the police inspector and, and all this stupid shit. And, you know, this is where... And why we, we badger this dude. See, I want people to understand we're not picking on somebody. This is this person has earned all the vitriol he has received. Um, so this is going to be directed directly to you. This is not none of my brothers in the LDBC have anything to do with this video. This is purely me, Quest X. I'm doing this on my own. This lion has left the den to go stalk some prey. All right. And uh, let, let's let's get it. So you several months ago, when the Alexander Brand fight was announced for Andre Ward, you were one of the starch critics of Andre Ward uh, choosing to fight Alexander Brand. And don't you dare use the Nicholas Walters fight as a shield, you know, to try to discredit the brothers who know what the fuck they're talking about. OK. Because it's for a fact that you are on record, on video, believing that Sobranski was a tougher opponent for Andre Ward. You, and did you watch last night? Did you see the ineptitude by Sobranski? But did you see how Sullivan Barrera was able to easily do things? But he wasn't able to do it against Andre Ward. So you're telling me a man of, of Andre Ward's boxing intellect would somehow be dumber the night he fights Shabransky than when he fought Sullivan Barrera. I mean, get out of here with this, man. Get out of here with this. And then your racist ass thumbnails. And you want to sit here and talk about how you don't have an agenda. How you're just here to talk boxing. How you're just here to, to, to talk about the sport and all the fighters that is involved in the sport. Man, you're straight ass, bruh. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. All you want to talk about is our social issues. All you want to talk about is what we talk about. All you want to sit there and think about is what we think about. And see here and say you don't, bro, because you got videos admitting that you do it. See, you're one of the dumbest type of people, man. You're the, stu you're the stupid asshole that will literally get caught on tape stealing and then claim that you didn't steal. And the cops are playing that shit for you. And it's right there. It's pure as day as you. This is one of those situations, bro. Like we had to, like I had to, I had to hold that L with Nicholas Walters. They burned, man. That shit burned me. I believed in Nicholas Walters, but Walters got me with that one. But again, there's certain other things that were involved with that, I believe, personally. My brothers, Jeff and 78, they did a video about it. You don't have to like it. You probably gonna hate on it. You probably already been done two or three different versions of response videos to it before you put it out. But it doesn't matter. We know what the fuck we're talking about. We know what it is we see. My boy Nicholas Walters is a hoe. He got hoed out. He went to his pimp and his pimp paid him that money and said, you're going to do what I tell you to do. And he did it. Shabransky, on the other hand, wasn't shit you advertised him to be. Wasn't any even close so sit here and shut the fuck up, man. Shut up. We got way too much material on you. I got way too much material on you, boy. It's your boy, Quest X. I am out. Peace.